Okay. Yeah, you can't go five minutes without talking about Iggy Koopa's butt slapping. Jamin, we can't take you anywhere. You always bring up that butt slapping. What's up YouTube, it's J-Man and me the Jokester, and today the J-Man would like to count down for you the 10 Super Mario Brothers enemies that he feels should make an appearance in Super Mario Maker 3. They've made two Mario Maker games where you can create uh, your own Mario courses and compete against other Mario fans, um, but there are some enemies who have uh, been left out of the first two games, and these are the enemies that J-Man believes should be in Super Mario Maker 3. J-Man, are you ready for the countdown? And what a feedback. What a feedback. I didn't create from insane. Hilarious and me too. And me. That's right. These are the enemies that Jason needs to create the ultimate and most hilarious enemy to enemy course. If you watched our uh, previous Mario Maker video, you know he makes the same course more or less over and over and they're called enemy to enemy. So let's. Number. Boom. Yeah, there's a there's a tie at tenth place. Uh, number ten is the Boomerang Bro, and the Fire Bro, and the names are pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure everyone knows the Hammer Bro from the Hammer Brothers from the Super Mario series, the turtles who stand upright and throw hammers. Well, the Boomerang Bro throws a boomerang, and the Fire Bro uh, throws fire, and. Um, yeah, that's, it's kind of strange they haven't been in either game. It doesn't seem that hard to come up with to change that, but... Yeah, and the boomerang, I love the uh, when Mario can get the boomerang power. That's a great uh, power to have, so... I would say yes. So there you go, number 10, boomerang bro, fire bro. Yo, Cam, I fire bro, and mom make it on Wow. Oh yeah, that's right. Some of, you know they do. You can so you can make the fire bro in, in the three D levels in Mario Maker two, and that's an interesting uh, clarification. Is that some of these enemies can appear in certain levels, but not uh, across the board, which is which is frustrating too. Uh, I would say. So we want these enemies in all the levels and all the levels you can make, all the types of game styles. Then, J-Man, let's get to number nine. Assume. <laughs> That's right, Assumo Bro, Assumo Brother. And that, uh, this is a self-explanatory name. It's a big, heavy set uh, type of, now is, it, is Assumo Bro a turtle? It looks like a turtle, it's got a shell. Yeah, it's just a, a large, large turtle who wants to sumo wrestle you. Um, but yeah, throw some sumo bros in there. That'd be great. Number now, number eight. I know this is this is an enemy we we comment upon quite frequently. It's a spine of a toy. No, I mean <laughs> four, four legs. Yep, it's a spider with four legs called the Scuttlebug. And it's a uh, purple and yellow bug that kind of hangs down and it, you can kind of jump around. Usually you see them in levels where you can jump from one scuttle bug to the next. And they're wearing, they wear boxing gloves. Uh, but I've never seen them box or hit or punch Mario. So coming in at number seven, J-Man. Tell me about the Mario enemy at number seven that you'd like to see. Love 
Bramble. The, uh, the Bramble. Wait, another pretty unique enemy. Um, it's like a, it's just an orange ball with yellow spots and two big long viney legs, and they just kind of stamp, stamp around, stomp around. Um, another super fun enemy to try and defeat, and probably have lots of fun if they were in Mario Maker 3. And we don't. We don't even know if they are making a Mario Maker 3. Fingers oh crossed. My. At number six, J-Man. Fator. P. Dog. Tap. Yeah, he, uh, he or she, he, she, uh, they are designed to look like a bullet bill. Uh, we all know the bullet bill, the giant, sometimes small, small, sometimes small, sometimes a little. The large ones are the bonsai bells. The bullet bills are the smaller ones. At any rate, they all have faces painted on them, like uh, like World War II fighter planes. And this is a torpedo one that goes underwater. Moving on to number five, J-Man. This is a, this is a cute one, I think, a pretty cute enemy. Swim. The swim. Yeah, so like small. Oh. But um, old and down and dumb a new bum side to Yeah, that's right. Like, I don't know much. It's a point of Form. That's right. Swim. Uh, That's right. The wimp is a uh, portmanteau of swamp and wimp, but they aren't too wimpy. They'll uh, they'll get you, as you mentioned. They're hard to avoid. So now we move to number four on our list of J-Man's top ten enemies that need to appear in Super Mario Maker Three. This is another pretty cute one, I think. J-Man. Cat. Grandpa, France, Marvel, Damn World. Yeah, but that's. Fair, our, our, cow, go by. Um, so number three, J Man, on this list, we got. King Bear. King Bill, which is uh, kind of like a bullet bill. Um, they are human. They destroy life inside. Now what, uh, they're, okay, so they're not quite as large as bonsai bills, is that correct? They're a little bit smaller? Or are they bigger? Fat. Okay. From what just Okay. I'm sorry. They're very Okay. Yeah, they're definitely very destructive. I need a chart that shows the sizes of all these enemies because I can't keep them straight. Uh, all right, moving on to number two on this wonderful list, Jay. A classic. Cheap. Chomp. That's right, the cheap chomp. This fire fish is a man eater. It is a, a giant man eating uh, cheap chomp. Uh, not to be confused with smaller cheap cheeps. And they are, they're in a lot of the games and they are very difficult to kill and avoid. And it'd probably be a lot of fun to make your own courses with them and use them as an enemy. All right, Jay, man, we've reached the number one enemy, the enemy you most want to see in Super Mario Maker 3. And I was surprised by this choice, but it is a great enemy. It is a great enemy, and it's a hard, another really hard one to get rid of or defeat. Please, Jay, man, tell the people. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, I... <laughs> 
The coin coffer. J-Man is stretching this out for dramatics. It's the coin coffer, um, which um, it's kind of a rare enemy. Um, it's the little green thing that it, it's kind of invisible at first, and you walk by it and you can see its outline. Then it'll jump out of nowhere, and it, it's like uh, kind of trying to jump on you or bite you, and it is really difficult to uh, to dispatch. Like you got to jump on it a million times or push it off a cliff. It's a hard one, and um, it's only in a handful of games. It's in uh, Mario 3D Land and Super Mario Brothers, new Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3D World, and Super Mario Odyssey. Um, but it is a great enemy, and it would be uh, really cool to play around with it in Super Mario Maker 3, should Nintendo ever make it. They gotta make it. Why would they not make it? Well, I think you chose a, a great selection of enemies to be in Super Mario Maker 3 and let's let's I get all we can do now is wait and see if Nintendo listens and hopefully they'll pay attention and take your advice J-Man thank you again for having me on one of your amazing videos and I look forward to doing another one spending more time with you and seeing what happens in the world of Nintendo and the world of J-Man <laughs> all right and to all you out there in youtube land thanks for tuning in and we'll see you very soon